All right, so what, what you got today, as you hopefully started to take a look at, in the daily email I gave to you, uh, were three attachments. The first one is, uh, it's a 12 page PDF that's a comprehensive guide over how to use Zoom. And I'll talk about that in a minute. The second thing that's in there is the final project, the last re set of requirements. All right, and third is the list of everybody, it's the email of everybody in this class. So as it's said on here, um, as we begin, please open up the attached PDF. This explains to you how to set up your own Zoom account. I want you to do that because I want you to at least, we're going to try to see if we can take these um, presentations and put them on Zoom. I will not be taping them, all right? But uh, I am going to invite a couple recruiters, all right, to, to, watch the, you know, to watch the proceedings next Wednesday. All right, so part four of your attachment, of the attached, um, let's see, where is that? There we go. That's right here. And as it says, and again, now this is for the last day of class, which is a week from tomorrow, worth 500 points. For your final presentation, you are required to do the following. All right, I want you to, to set up your own Zoom meeting, invite all of us, and present both your electronic portfolio and your completed final Android app to the entire class on Zoom. Now, you can present other projects if you want to do so, if you've got something that you're really proud of or whatever. This is worth 200 of the 500 points. You're not being graded on, I mean, if you get up there and you're like this and you know, that's in a way that's to be expected, all right? but you will you will lose those points if you do not at least make an attempt all right to get up and present all right so the minimum time should be 10 minutes no matter how fast you're going or no matter how fast you think you're going no matter how slow you think you're going you're speaking very fast it's just human nature especially when you're not used to doing it all right so again like i said Minimum 10 minutes, maximum 20. That's 200 of the 500 points or 40%. Next, I want to make, want you to make sure that by the end of class on Wednesday, you have got out on your GitHub account both a copy of your electronic portfolio and your completed final Android app. Now, you might say, well, why do we have to put our electronic portfolio out on GitHub? just because occasionally iwt.rankin.edu is problematic, all right? Two of you in this class got a hold of me yesterday, even though I reset everybody's password about a half an hour before class and said you couldn't get in. I had to reset the passwords again. That's why I want it in, you know, on both. All right, so that's... Uh, just putting it out there, putting them both out there are 50 points each. Or, I'm sorry, 25 points each are 50 points. So that's half. The other half is going to be determined by the quality of your app. As it says, it should run as intended. In other words, it shouldn't have errors in it. It should run. It should look professional. You should try to incorporate as much of what we learned this semester into your app as possible. If you say, well, we didn't spend any time on shared preferences or on databases, then don't put those in. That's okay. But put in as much of the other stuff as you can. That's the 500 points. In addition, as it says here, your electronic portfolio is also on its own worth 150 points. Because that's what it's been every semester. Again, it should be functional and professional. All right, uh, I don't know what that's from. Fix any errors in this, I don't know what that is. So I'll just get rid of that, whoops. And finally, three last things. As it says, it's probably hard, even if you're at home, even if you're, you know, even if you've been coming to these presentations and you're in your pajamas or whatever, 
all right, it's probably hard to present to the class. It's hard for most people to get up and talk in front of a group of people, all right? I will tell you, I had already been teaching for several years when, well, I shouldn't say several years, but a few years when, when uh, we adopted my first daughter and I had to get up and speak in front of about 50 people I didn't know in an adoption group. And I was more nervous than I am for any classroom presentation, all right? And I think it showed. So it's to be expected. So it's, as it says there, even if you have trouble and stumble your way through the project, it's okay. That's not gonna be reflected in your grade, all right? Next, as it says there, I'm going to invite uh, Ms. Mueller that you've already met from K-Force, Mr. Kreshock, whom you've already met from Tech Systems, Mr. Corrigan of Rankin and Ms. Bruggeman of Rankin to also be in your presentations. So attached to this email, the other thing that's in there, just so you're aware of it, that's not it. Is a list of all of the emails. What I would like you to do, because to my knowledge, everything that I put in there is correct, but this list that's right here, double check, make sure I spelled your name correctly, et cetera, and there are no errors in here. Now I already see there is one. Corrigan has two R's. Okay, C-C-O-R-R-I-G-A-N. Make sure you change that on yours. Now, what I would like you to do before Wednesday of next week, set up your Zoom account, all right, and try to set up a Zoom meeting. If nothing else, just email me and say, hey, I'm going to try to set up this Zoom meeting, you know, and I'm just going to invite you. That's fine. Then we'll make sure that you can connect and there are no problems. All right. So please do that before. All right. Please do that before um, next Wednesday. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. The rest of this week is lab. All right. And next week is also going to be lab on Monday and lab on Tuesday. All right, I will come up with something. I'll put names in a hat or whatever as far as the order in which you are to present. That's fine. And I'll even let you know on Tuesday already. I'll put all 10 names in a hat and I'll let my wife or one of my kids pick them out. All right, so you will know hopefully by the beginning of class Tuesday what order you're going to be in. If you have any questions, Feel free to email me with those. But again, the rest of today, all right, the rest of today and the rest of this week, all of that is, uh, is lab time, all right? And I know you've seen this plenty of times before, but if you look up on the screen here, again, the part two or the, the, the prototype was already due a week ago, all right? Your to-do list is due, and some people have had problems with the to-do list. If you have, and you know, even if you can't get the alert to work, try to make an attempt, and if it doesn't work, comment it out, but put comments in your program and turn in what I've given you. All right, that'll give you at least 40 points. All right, the three Recycle Review apps, very few people have turned those in. <clears throat> They're all past due. All right, we'll see what that's like next week. But I do want, you know, if you don't, don't turn those in, I may, may knock it down to worth 50 points, but you'll lose 50 points. All right, part three is due this Friday, and that's basically your project. And as I mentioned, you can make aesthetic changes afterwards if you want to or need to. Part four is due, I've got in here by 425. Technically, I'd like to see it by the beginning of class. And finally, please, if you have not done so recently, two last things. Number one, go out on the inside Rankin and check your grade. See if anything is missing. If there's something that you think you turned in that I did not grade, 
And those of you who turned me in stuff yesterday, today, or the day before, to my knowledge, it's all been graded now. All right, but check. And if you've turned in something and I don't have it, send me out another invitation. All right. And uh, <clears throat> I know the last thing was basically it was related to that. Just like I said, oh, that was it. The last thing is there's still two or three of you who did not get back to me and fill out that mini survey that I gave you the other day. Just, just send me an email saying, yes, I am planning on trying to put my app out on the Google Play Store or no, I am not planning on it. You are going to have to provide me with some proof that A, you did create a developer account and B, that you have gone through the steps and we did this yesterday, plus there's another video out there on how to put it on the App Store, but I'll need proof. If you do that, and I know it's $25, and I know that's a hardship for some of you, but if you do that, that's an extra 100 extra credit points, all right? If there are no questions, feel free to drop off right now, and we'll meet again tomorrow, where I'll basically run through the same stuff all over again.